6 Weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AzTechAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, welcome back. Here's our one shoreline sky cam looking west live. <laughs> what a sunset it is with the beautiful blue skies. Isn't that a gorgeous picture? It's a wonderful end to what ended up to be a very nice day once the sun came out about 1230 this afternoon, cleared from west to east. Temperatures are dropping quickly under those clear skies. Everybody's down in the 50s now. We're at 52 and going down. We're going to see some 30s tonight and it's going to be the coldest night temperature wise of uh, this entire episode of this little storm system. Winds are out of the northwest at 7, only 5 in Ingleside, so the winds are coming down. That's going to allow for radiational cooling tonight. The heat that was built up during the day will escape into the Earth's atmosphere, and by midnight we'll be down near 40 degrees. So the low temperatures in the morning is shortly after daybreak, about 15 minutes after daybreak under these conditions is where our low temperatures occur. We'll be at about 36, Robstown 36, but near freezing in George West and Freer. If you have uh, small pets, you might want to bring them in tonight, at least into the garage, give them some cover from these cold temperatures that are about to happen. At least there won't be much of a wind chill because the winds are light, but that's the reason, along with the clearing skies, that uh, we're going to get so cold. Again, just gorgeous. It went from uh, pretty crummy this morning to very nice this afternoon as the winds settle down and this storm system wrapping up and kicking out to the north and east through the Arkansas area and into the Tennessee Valley with rain on the wet warm side of it and uh, snow on the back side of this where it's very cold tonight in Oklahoma and parts of North Texas up around Wichita Falls. Why do we clear out? We went from a southwesterly flow to a northwesterly flow in the upper atmosphere. That's what we're seeing on the water vapor imagery here and that low is going to continue to move out. Here it is on our future tracker and as that kicks out High pressure is going to build in. Big ridge of high pressure. That's a big dome of sinking air. So gorgeous weather here tomorrow and Saturday. By the time we get to Sunday, this part of the high breaks off to the east of us. So we start to pick up a few clouds late in the day in response to this upper level low coming in with a cold front off the Pacific. So it's going to be very weak as it moves by. So it's really not going to do much to us rain wise or temperature wise. Future tracker again shows high pressure approaching during the day tomorrow. So very light winds that moves off to the east here after Saturday and we get a return flow of Gulf moisture and we'll start to see some cloud cover. All right, the winds very light for a change overnight and throughout the day tomorrow and into Saturday. Mariners enjoy it if you can. Highs tomorrow look like this and will be in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. A little cooler near the water in Port Aransas. Here's your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast and we're looking at 36 cold tonight, 39 tomorrow night. 68 for the high tomorrow, 74 sensational on Saturday, 75 but late day clouds and breezy on Sunday. I'm worried about the wind on Sunday, Lee, and then it clouds up and not so nice after that, but uh, boy, tomorrow and Saturday, it's going to be specially nice. All right. Talked to the mayor, said he wants to go fishing this weekend, so Saturday looks like Saturday's, a good yeah, if you, if you want to get it, get back at him, take him Sunday, <laughs> but otherwise take him Saturday. This is the best day. 